My husband will only eat chicken nuggets, grilled cheese, and spaghettios. That's it. When we go over to friends' places, he'll actually bring some spaghettios to heat up in their microwave instead of eating anything else. Even if our friends cooked a wonderful meal. If we go out somewhere to eat, he will only order chicken nuggets off the kids' menu. If they don't have them, he just won't eat. If I try to cook literally any thing except one of his three food groups, he will claim he's allergic to some random ingredient instead of just outright saying he doesn't want to eat it. He'll then try to guilt me for forgetting his allergy. Spoiler. We've been to the doctor, and he's not allergic to anything. My husband just turned 36 this month. His food habits were sort of cute slash acceptable when we were both in college and eating like trash. But now I'm genuinely worried about his health. I also find myself avoiding any sort of dining situations with our friends, which is so much harder than it sounds. I've tried talking to him about his eating habits, and just he brushes me off. Since I don't cook his meals, the only victory I've had in this situation. He doesn't think I have the right to dictate what he can and can't eat. I'm not his mother. I'm his wife. But I just want my husband, the man I love, to be healthy. What do I do? Edit. We met when I was 19, in my sophomore year of college. We got married after graduation and moved in together shortly after. I didn't realize how strict his diet was until after we were married. Update 1. So, I did it. I confronted him when he came home. I brought up a... which he seemed very open to. He seemed sort of relieved that it's a fairly common disorder. Some of you absolutely called it. He explained that he was extremely embarrassed and defensive when I had tried bringing the issue up with him before. When I explained how much it hurt when he shut me down, he seemed genuinely surprised. He had no idea this issue was so important to me. I'll admit, I did cry a bit as I told him how worried I am about him eating himself into an early grave. His foods are not healthy, and by the end of our conversation, we both agreed to work together to overcome this. We'll be going to couples therapy this weekend at a local clinic. From there, we'll look into seeing a dietitian and a specialized counselor for his eating disorder. However, I called his mother while he was at work. I asked her about his eating habits as a kid, if there was any foods he sort of liked or anything he was really adverse to. I like the idea of making weekly meal prep together, so there's no surprises and we can collaborate on slowly introducing new foods. I was hoping this conversation would give me a good starting point when I talked with him. His mother is a very sweet woman and told me all the foods he even sort of would eat and everything he refused to. But she offhand mentioned that he has sensory processing issues due to his autism. I asked her to elaborate, and she did. It turns out he was diagnosed with autism as a kid. He even went to an after-school physical therapist for many years to deal with sensory issues. He never told me any of this. When I spoke with him, I didn't know how to bring it up, so I just didn't. I'm so worried he'll deny it, or he'll get angry with me for speaking to his mother behind his back, since he obviously doesn't want me to know. I want to stress that I never brought up autism with his mother. She mentioned it all on her own. I feel lied to and manipulated. I don't know how to bring it up with him, because right now I'm just starting to process it. I'm angry that he never told me. His food issues are one thing, but not telling me about his autism and seemingly intentionally keeping it from me, as he didn't bother to mention it today either, is another. It's more and more obvious that the man I married isn't who I think he is and has been lying to me for years. Right now I'm telling myself to wait until counseling this weekend before confronting him. I don't want our conversation to be out of anger. But I also don't know how I could ever trust him again if he was so willing to keep such a big secret from me. Edit. I will be bringing this up in counseling, but I'm not going to discuss it with him until then as I don't want to let my anger and hurt override my desire to help him. As some people stated, it is possible he doesn't know about his autism. I really, really, really hope that is the case. I'm hurt not because he has autism, 
I really couldn't care less. It doesn't change who he is as a person, but rather that he never told me about it. Update 2, well. It's been a lot longer than a one-week update, I promised. I could make excuses, but I won't. For those of you who don't want to read my original post, I asked for help with my husband's food preference issues, and through talking with many people on here, and, ultimately, his mother, it was revealed that he was diagnosed with autism as a child. Some of the comments on my original post were, not so kind. I got a lot of accusations that still hurt me. Some just make me angry, particularly the person who commented simply, please don't bully him. He's my goddamn husband. Not a schoolyard friend, not a sibling, not a child. Infantilizing him doesn't help his case at all. Moving on. I was very upset as he had never mentioned anything to me. We've discussed all sorts of medical issues together, but his diagnosis never came up. I want to stress this. This isn't a matter of me not wanting to be married to an autistic man. This is a matter of my husband keeping something important from me and causing me a great deal of stress that could have been avoided if I was aware of his diagnosis. For example, I continuously pushed him to try new foods or attend concerts or visit loud amusement parks. I knew he wasn't particularly thrilled about any of those things, but they are all very normal couple activities that I wanted us to experience together. Had I been aware of his autism, I would have had a better understanding of how negatively these things affected him, and made more of an effort to integrate things he liked with things I liked. Maybe a smaller local band, or a craft fair instead of an amusement park. Anyways, that's the backstory. Read below for the update. I confronted him about my conversation with his mother the night before our counseling appointment. I made sure to bring it up casually so I didn't become angry again. He tried to brush me off at first, saying he didn't know what I was talking about. After talking for a bit, he eventually confessed that he not only knew of the diagnosis, but deliberately kept it from me. He said I was his dream, and he didn't want to do anything to ruin our perfect relationship. I explained how him keeping this from me hurt me. I explained how I could have been there to support him instead of feeling like he needed to hide. He said he wasn't ashamed of it at all. He explained that it's just not something that affects him anymore. I again explained how it affects me, but he didn't seem to care. I didn't show him the post I made, but I used some of the advice from you all to try to explain why his autism really does in fact still affect his life. We went to bed upset. The next day, he acted like nothing happened. We ate breakfast, he had chicken nuggets, and went about our day. I kept expecting him to bring it up, but he never did. I didn't have the nerve to bring it up again until later at the marriage counselor's office. I spoke to the counselor so as not to seem accusing and explained that this was an issue that bothered me. My husband actually laughed and said he assumed I'd gotten over it by now. When I explained that no, I really hadn't, he got angry with me and stormed out. The counselor tried to mediate, but it wasn't much used as my husband went to wait in the car. I was worried he'd leave without me, so I cut the meeting short. Our ride home was quiet. It wasn't until we got home that I said I was worried he was keeping other things from me too. He said he'd been reading online about how women can't understand autism, and therefore he didn't think it was important to tell me about it. I said that was the weakest excuse I'd ever heard. He then said that I'd leave him if I knew. I said if I left him, it'd be because he's a liar. Apparently, he told all of our mutual friends that he'd just been diagnosed with autism and I was considering leaving him because of it. Now many of our friends won't talk to me and act very cold when we run into each other in public. I don't know what else he's told them, but I think he told someone I cheated on him as a fake account has been commenting horrible things about me and my supposed sexual habits on all of my Instagram posts. I keep reporting them, but then it seems like another just pops up in its place. I haven't decided if divorce is the right path. I know he's been browsing insul and other bitter male-centric websites. One of his friends is a self-described insul. So I'm even more convinced that this isn't the man I married. 
I'm mostly just confused. I've been avoiding him at home, and it feels like more of a roommate situation at this point. He doesn't really leave his den until it's time for work, and then he's back in the den until bed. It seems like everything is messed up, just for me wanting to help. I don't even know what to expect at this point, much less how to move on from here. Edit. There are so many more comments than I anticipated. I'm trying to at least read through most of them, although I think I'm past my emotional ability to reply. I'm really shocked at how overwhelmingly supportive people are being. Thank you. I'm going to be discussing divorce with a lawyer. I don't know how to bring it up with him, but I'm past the point of caring. You're all right. I dread coming home to him in the evenings. I dread if he will miraculously want to talk. This isn't healthy for either of us. At the very least, some time apart would be good. That's all for now. I don't think I'll update past this, as I'm already uncomfortable with how quickly this blew up. But I will be living elsewhere by the end of the month. Relevant comments. Wow. He escalated to a preemptive smear campaign to get in front of the story. Instead of dealing with his wife and his autism slash eating concerns authentically. He chucked the whole thing out. The damage that insoles forums and male-centric website do is amazing. They take every feeling of insecurity and use it. I don't know how the F I missed the ages. I thought they'd met when they were both 19 and are now both in their 30s. This is even worse. 